for the design of the pre-stressed concrete member another important properties of the concrete is its deformations the deformations of the concrete is represented by the strength. There are two types of strength, which is instantaneous and also time dependence. Instantaneous strength represents the deformations of the concrete immediately after the pre-stressing load is applied. The time dependence strength would be the deformations of the concrete over time due to the load. Within the time dependent strength, there are creep and shrinkage. The creep is the time dependent strength which is developed due to sustained stress, which means that when the stress is applied to the concrete over a long period of time, creep develops. Even though the stress has not reached the yield strength of the concrete, the development of the creep in the concrete will lead to the permanent deformations of the concrete which is irreversible even though after the stress is being removed. The next one is the shrinkage strength. It is mainly associated with loss of water due to the hydration and drying process of the concrete. In comparison between the instantaneous and time dependent strength, the instantaneous strength develops faster and at a more significant rate. And the time dependent strength develops slower over the time. These equations represent the total strength of the concrete, which is the summation of the instantaneous strength plus the creep and shrinkage strength. The creep and shrinkage are affected by the time, the stress intensity, and the humidity. The creep and shrinkage strength increases with time and also the stress intensity. The fluctuations of the humidity will encourage the time dependent strength. These are the effects of the creep and shrinkage. First, it increases the axial deformations and curvatures of concrete, which leads to excessive deflections. Excessive deflections of the member encourage cracking, which subsequently degrade the durability of the member. Also, it can lead to excessive shortenings of the pre-stressed member. This will amplify the losses of the pre-stressing load acting on the member. The creep and shrinkage also lead to local redistributions of stress between the concrete and reinforcement, as well as the redistributions of internal actions in statically indeterminate member. Excessive redistributions is not desirable, especially when the final distributions end up not in line with the design of the members. This may lead to local damage of the member and expand the damage to other areas of the members. Also, the shrinkage may cause unsightly cracking, which can affect the serviceability or durability problems. Nevertheless, there is one positive effect of the creeps. It basically relieves the stress concentrations at the concrete and imparts measures of deformability to concrete. That means it allows the concrete to deform slightly under high degree of distress.